that's an interesting story. How I got into running. I had friends who lived in the Maryland area, and they in 1973, they sent me a clipping about the JFK 50 mile race along the Appalachian Trail, and they had a 14 hour time limit. Well, I had run the uh, Army Expert Infantry badge uh, at a four mile per hour pace, and I thought, this is the race that I need to, or event I need to join, and it was a learning experience. It was the first time I ever ran in any competitive race other than the Army PT test, which was a one mile run at the time, and it was an event, most, probably the most memorable event of my running career. Uh, we started out with 1,355 runners, and due to the weather conditions, uh, it was rain in Boonesboro, sleet on the Appalachian Trail, uh, late March. Of the 1,355, less than 200 crossed the finish line. And I thought, this is the end. I'm never going to do this again. This was worse than airborne school, worse than ranger school. And I thought, I'm never going to go back to that event again. Except four months later, I got a plaque in the mail that said Fred Schumacher, 135th out of 1,355. And I thought, wow, that's top 10%. The JFK became the race of the year. And we, uh, whether we were living in State College, Pennsylvania, Rochester, New York, Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, uh, St. Louis, Missouri, I would be at the starting line of Boonesboro that Saturday for the JFK. And that was the motivation uh, throughout the year to keep running. As far as senior activities, uh, at age 50, the first year of eligibility, I started uh, participating in the Maryland Senior Olympics. And uh, my first two events were the uh, 800 meter and the shot put, because they were uh, within a, an hour of each other. And lining up for the 800 meters, I knew I was going to be last, because each of the other runners weighed about 150 pounds, was five foot four or so, and have been at this event before. Did a decent, for me, I thought a decent time, but said, no, I don't need to, <laughs> I don't need to do that. But through a recommendation for the Frederick Steeplechasers, uh, gentleman Steve Schaefer said, Fred, look at the shop coders and look at you. Your event is the javelin. You've got the height, you've got the speed, you've got the arm length, give that a try. So I did and then dropped down to distances, did well at the 200 and the 400, competed the javelin, do well in the shot put, but do very well in the softball and football throws. And again, uh, being at, at age 75, it's great to compete in that venue uh, with individuals of, of your age. And my biggest supporter is my wife, who saw me through all the, all the injuries recorded, supported me at the race, and then when we moved to, when we moved to Frederick in 1996, uh, my father was advanced in years, uh, 80 years old, and he was my support for the first, uh, from 1974 up to 1996. But then my wife took over as support, spent essentially every waking hour trying to follow me around and meet me at uh, designated points along the course. I do not agonize over what place I come in or who's in front of me or who's gonna beat me in the end. Uh, I try to do my best at every race. Uh, if it happens to win first at age group, that's fine. If it happens that I follow a 10 year old child across the finish line, well, that's fine too. I mean, just to be out and compete at this point. You can prepare yourself for the event, all sorts of training, but you never know what the day is gonna bring, either weather-wise or injury-wise or what, even train-wise, because at the 18-mile point, we crossed the CSX line, and there have been years when the CXX train rolled right through 
and that added another 10 or 15 minutes uh, to your time. Being inducted into the Alvin G. Quinn Hall of Fame is for me a very distinct honor and a very humbling experience knowing that previous members have participated and played at the NFL level, our Olympic athletes, individuals who've had a very extensive uh, record at both at high school and the collegiate level, uh, not being a Frederick resident and uh, participating in the number of events, I'm very humbled to be selected by the committee for this honor. Since moving to Frederick, I've become a very active member in the Frederick community. Uh, I sit at the uh, Veterans Advisory Council here in Frederick, was the uh, first uh, chairperson for that group that started uh, three years ago. I'm on the Spring Ridge Homeowners Association board for 26 years, the longest serving member. I'm a member of a local church here in Frederick, and I'm on the uh, Board of Trust, President of the Board of Trustees. I'm a member of the Frederick Steeplechasers Club and uh, participate in a lot of their events, 